If you are watching this, you have probably heard the argument that everything on the radio is terrible, music is terrible nowadays, and although the argument that um, all music is terrible nowadays, I, I think people are exaggerating, they seem pretty confident in the radio is complete trash. They seem to say that with confidence. And as a person who follows pop culture, I, you know, I listen to the radio from time to time. I follow Billboard. I like to see the trends. I think that adversifies my music. It adversifies my taste. And, you know, I just like doing it. And although the radio is filled with shit, I would like to think that there is a good number of songs on it that are just really, really good and I really like. And I am going to make 10 songs that prove the radio is shit. I'm going to make that. But before I do that, I want to stay positive and, and make a video about 10 songs that prove the radio isn't shit. And these are widely accepted songs, and I think most people can like them. But in, in the end, this is just my opinion. These are 10 songs I like. You don't have to like them. You don't have to listen to the radio. No one is forcing you to. Don't dislike the video. Please, please, I'm sorry. Anyway, um, yeah, let's just jump right into it. This is part of the video where you're like, oh, he's talking about good radio songs, and he mentioned Shut Up and Dance. That's a good point. Shut Up and Dance is what a radio song should be. When I think of songs that are on the radio, I think the purpose of radio songs are for songs that play at, like, high school dances and at, like, supermarkets in the background. It's for, it's when you have nothing to go to and you want to be as general as possible, you play what's charting. And nothing says just a really fun song like Shut Up and Dance. When I think of radio songs, I don't think, like, Iggy Azalea's Fancy. I don't think Miley Cyrus's We Can't Stop. I think of songs like Shut Up and Dance that were just so much fun, have so much energy. And if you, have you seen the music video? Have you seen that one guy in the suit? Oh my god, it's complete crazy. And just the theme about Shut Up and Dance. That, just that line captures the spirit of the song. And it's a great just idea and it's a great song. If you haven't checked out Queen Bandit, I really recommend them. They have very high production electronic music and it's just amazing. And they have a lot of unique sounds and Rather Be would just be like probably my favorite song from that album. It's a great song. There's a lot of really good remixes out for it. If you haven't taken the time to listen to this song, it's like, it, you will listen to it so much. It's such a good song. It's again, another, what I would like to think a radio song should be, just full of life and energy. And it has this like, just happiness that I associate with it. It's a really good song. Oh, the weekend. I can't fucking escape you. Um, yeah, can't feel my face. Uh, it's, you're gonna probably hear me say overplayed a couple times in this video, but although I do think it was overplayed, I still listen to it. I think it's a very good song, and even though not a lot of people seem to even know it's about drugs. Like, I don't know how that went over everyone's head. It's like Flo Rida's Whistle, where, every, like, people just didn't get the idea of the song. But, you know, it's such a good song, and if The Weeknd could ever pull off becoming a pop star, this would be the song that made him do it. It's a really good song, and it's, it's, it's a fan favorite for me, and I just love it. I think Royals caught people off guard, you know, it was marketed, like, a lot of people discovered it as this top song on Billboard, and it was breaking charts, and this, like, young girl was just sweeping everything, but, like, when they see, they don't see this generic pop star, they see Lord, and she's actually just making 
and an actual just song that you know you would feel like you saw on like Bandcamp or something like it's a very good song and it's not like it doesn't have this super production value it's a very simple instrumental and she has a very catchy and nice voice but it's not like in your face it's very I like the sound I like her style and it was just a very good song Radioactive is fucking hype. I think at least there should be some music on the charts that should be dedicated to songs like Radioactive. Just the big energy, not pop-centered music. And Radioactive is just that in a nutshell. It's very accessible. You don't have to have this acquired taste in music to enjoy it. But at the same time, it's like not bubblegum, BS, whatever the fuck. It's an actual just pumping, just fucking badass song. And yeah. Uptown Funk, again, overplayed, but fucking amazing. I don't think, like, if there was any people who still hated Bruno Mars from his grenade years, I think Uptown Funk, like, shoved into those people's faces. No, he's not a douche anymore. He's, he's making good music. Mark Ronson, he's actually just a very good producer. And Bruno Mars, you know, just, I like the Bruno Mars that captures, like, the old 80s sound and all that. That Bruno Mars I really like, and he does it so well here, and Uptown Funk is just such a likable song. Start to finish, not a dull moment, not a thing I would change about that song. My beautiful Castillo. Budapest, if you haven't heard this one, it's a good song. I've heard it on a couple radio stations, and Damn, just this guy's voice. I don't know much. I haven't listened to his album. I don't know much about the guy. I just know this song fucking kicks ass. He has such a deep voice, and you like won't ex expect it to be like this pop radio song, but it's it's a good song, and it's just just his voice, the golden grand piano, my beautiful Castillo. Yeah, he does. It's such a good song. And just look this one up if you haven't already. Daft Punk is fucking amazing. If Daft Punk is probably one of my favorite artists. It, I usually just like to stick with songs and albums, but Daft Punk, like, top five right there. Daft Punk, just, they're so good. And, you know, some people like older Daft Punk, but the new Daft Punk, Get Lucky, it's still a great song. I, and Pharrell Williams, although Happy is what really brought him out there, Get Lucky was that, like, starting point that allowed him to do that. And it's such a good hook. It's such it's a catchy song. It's just a nice song. Like, if, I, like, if I'm in a supermarket or if I'm somewhere just chilling uh, out in public and I hear the song play, I'll be like, oh, yeah, Get Lucky. That's, that's a good song. I, I will now listen to the song in the background and I will have a good time. And it's, and it's so danceable. It's... it's if Daft Punk could get away, like with The Weeknd, with a nice, happy pop song that like actually made good radio play, this would be it. And again, there's not a thing I would change about this song. It's so good. Locked Out of Heaven, remember when I said Bruno Mars isn't going to do shit anymore? Locked Out of Heaven was a song for me that was like, you know what, Bruno? I don't hate you and your stupid haircut and your, like, he was doing that, like, Justin Bieber face in all his photos where he's like, boom, I, I'm, I'm emotional. No, Locked Out of Heaven was like, okay, you can make a fun radio song. If you're going to be on the radio, I want you to be making stuff like this. Because this is a good song, and it's so enjoyable, and, like... Again, I just associate happiness with it. And again, I just associate the song with happiness because the radio actually likes to be wherever you're happy, like out in public or wherever they indoctrinate you that way. But besides that, 
it's a very good song because it's so full of life and it just it, it's so much energy and it, the hook it's just great haven't checked out Kendrick Lamar do that the first song I, I I didn't I wasn't around for section 80 I wasn't as big music fan back then and when good kid Mad City came out I didn't have that acquired taste quite yet but the song that like allowed me to at least take a look at Kendrick Lamar was swimming pools the song that was disguised as a drinking song but was actually a very deep song about alcoholism and just Kendrick fighting alcohol and then people around him drinking peer pressure was a big theme with Good Kid Mad City and damn his swimming pool is just it was probably my favorite song of that year it was just Kendrick has a very good talent of using like the certain instrumentals, certain voice changes, and he meshes them into a very coherent and very likable sound, and he does it in Swimming Pool, and goddamn, I love Swimming Pools. And with all that, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more, just subscribe, leave a like, all that makes me super happy, so do that, and stick around for my 10 songs that prove the radio are shit. I know that's kind of contradictory, but you know, that's how things work sometimes. Anyway, um, take care, and with that, I leave you.